VR is an amazing experience even in the state we have it right now, but I'm pretty sure most of us are impatiently waiting for the day when it will become a much more immersive technology than it is today. And in order to make this dream a reality as fast as possible, AI will be an essential tool that will allow us to bring our virtual world to life. How it will do that is exactly what we will try to speculate today. I think we can all agree that gaming is a huge part of the most amazing amazing experiences you can have in VR at the moment. But the main reason we get attracted to VR games differs from the one that attracted some of us to flat screen games. When it comes to VR, immersion is the most important factor in my opinion. And how you create and maintain this immersion is the defining difference between the two kinds of games. For me, Immersion is composed of two main elements, the presence you have in the game, which includes how good it feels to control the game character or to become the character in the case of VR games, and how believable the world is, which includes aspects such as how interactable and intuitive the elements of the world are compared with the natural expectations you have, the story of the world, and the interactions you have with the NPC. Most games need to use both of these elements elements in order to create an enjoyable experience. The problem is that both of these elements are much easier to get right in a flat screen game and some aspects are more forgivable than in VR. For example, the most of us are happy with the flat screen character as long as his movements are responsive and he doesn't get stopped by an obstacle that even an 80 years old grandma will be able to jump over. On the other hand, for our VR character, most people can support not having visible arms, and if we have arms, some can support when they don't move in the same way their real arms move. When you crouch, there might be times when your head clips through your torso. I could go on and on with the problems VR avatars can have. The main point is that it's much easier to make a good character with predefined dimensions and actions than it is to make an avatar that needs to allow for unpredictable movements and the different body shapes of real life users. When it comes to the world, there is no big deal if we can pick up a fruit from the table or the NPC turns into a statue after finishing his speech in a flat screen game. But in VR, we have an instinctual desire to interact with all the objects we can see, similarly to how we do in a real world. And seeing a life-size NPC turn into an emotionless doll really breaks the sense of adventuring in a believable world. I think this is enough to explain the problem I see in the current state of VR. Some of you might want to point out that most of these problems are either because the VR hardware is not yet advanced enough, or there is not enough money invested in the VR space to fix these problems, and you will be right to a certain extent. But in my opinion, the advancements in AI and the possibility of integrating this technology with VR will open new levels of immersion that are otherwise impossible at the moment. This week, after the announcement of OpenVCI about a new version of ChatGPT, I decided to play with it a little. At some point, a strange idea came to my mind. I took a picture of my full body while being naked from the torso up and asked ChatGPT to estimate my height, weight and body fat percentage. Despite the picture not having a good perspective, as in the case when another person will take it for you, the AI managed to estimate the values I asked pretty accurately in my opinion. I know VR headsets like Quest 3 can already measure the user's height and we even have upper body tracking, but I'm imagining the potential of an AI integrated with the headset, which will constantly measure and estimate the size and movement of our real body, while at the same time modeling the virtual avatar to be of similar dimensions and positions in order to trick our brain to believe our real body is in the game. But in the end, the aspect in which AI could improve our experiences the most is our interactions with NPCs. As I said before, in VR, the lack of good NPCs that can act believably is much more immersion breaking than a similar situation in a flat screen game. Using AI to make an NPC able to hold conversations and act more like an individual has already proven to be a huge boost to immersion and overall enjoyment for the players by companions like Erika from Skyrim. Oh, you know, same old, same old. Just trying to survive in this crazy world of dragons and bandits. But hey, 
Keeping you entertained with my jokes and sarcastic comments is always a highlight of my day. So, what's the plan for today? Saving the world or just picking pockets? Now, imagine a game that has at least a couple of AI-powered NPCs that have their own story and personalities. The way you experience the game will be completely different based on the way you choose to interact with them, because the pieces of information you will be able to acquire depend on the relationship you have built with that specific NPC. I know I'm daydreaming right now and we are not yet at the point when we can use multiple AI at the same level or even higher than Herika while at the same time running a highly demanding AAA VR game, even on PC VR. But I'm confident this is a step we need to reach before we can even talk about a full dive VR experience. And since we mentioned full dive, if you want to find out how close we are to making it a reality, you can check the video which appears right now on the screen. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.